Welcome back. I'm Keisha Watson with your Wednesday edition of Humber News. Now it's time for your sports update. It was a battle of the goalies last night at the Air Canada Centre. The Toronto Maple Leafs fell, into the Saint, fell to the St. Louis Blues in overtime. Both goalies were standing over their heads last night as Maple Leafs goalie Frederick Anderson stopped 41 shots, while Ontario native Carter Hutton had a respectful 31 saves for the Blues. It wasn't until halfway through the third period before the scoring started. Connor Brown got a shorthanded goal, passing Hutton for his 11th of the season. With 90 seconds left, the Blues brought on the extra attacker. That led to Alexander Steen scoring with less than a minute to go, leading to overtime. Less than two minutes into overtime, Toronto's own Vince Dunn sealed the deal and scored for the Blues. The Leafs will be, back in, will be in Philadelphia tomorrow night looking to get back to their winning ways. And now we go down under to the Australian Open, where one Canadian athlete is impressing and another had an early exit. Eugene Bouchard had made it to the round of 64 as she will play against top-ranked Simona Halep tomorrow at 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Milos Raonic, on the other hand, shocked everyone when he was eliminated in the first round of the tournament against an unseeded player. Tennis superstar Rafael Nadal is looking for a comeback this year. He was a runner-up in the tournament last year. Also, six-time Australian that, that Open I champion Novak Djokovic is coming back from a lengthy that. injury. Feel, um... The 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games are less than a month away, and there's a big announcement between the host country and their next-door neighbor. North and South Korea have agreed to march to the Games together. The two countries will march under a unified Korea flag. They also agreed to a joint women's hockey team. All this comes after rare talks between the countries who have been divided since the Korean War in the 1950s. And now a look at your three-day forecast with Sarah Flores. Thanks, Keisha. Nothing better than waking up to a beautiful sunny winter day. This morning's weather may have had the GTA putting on those extra layers on, but that won't be necessary as temperatures rise and those extra layers won't be necessary. Today's weather is mainly sunny, so you may want to have your sunglasses handy. The high will be minus 5 with the low of minus 8 tonight. Tomorrow, it will be a mix of sun and cloud with the high of minus 2 with the low of minus 7. And on Friday, the temperature will rise to 2 degrees, dropping to minus 1 overnight. The weather will be great on Friday to check out the second annual Toronto Light Festival show down at the Distillery District. Back to you in the newsroom, Keisha. Thanks, Sarah. We leave you today with this ancient Spanish tradition where horses and riders both jumped through roaring flames. It is a part of an annual festival in central Spain. Locals say it is a big part of their culture, but animal rights groups are condemning it. Participants believe that horses that leap through the flames will be purified during the coming year. Locals say neither the horses nor people have ever been injured. They say many precautions are taken so horses never suffer burns. The horse's mane and tail get tied back. Organizers claim that the festival dates back about 500 years. That's all for today. I'm Keisha Watson. Remember, you can head to HumberNews.ca anytime for all the day's news and much more. Humber News is written and produced by students in the journalism program, and our technical crew are students in the broadcast, television, and videography program. We'll see you again next time.